Today we got a fight game that I've been working on for quite a while now. It's about 500 lines long and I'll show you what I mean if I scroll down here to the bottom. 542 lines long. So, it's pretty fun if you sit around and play, play with it a little bit. I mean, not your everyday game with graphics and everything, but, you know, general C++ program. But anyway, I'm going to show you how everything runs, what's going on here and there, and that's about it. So we're going to build it here, and then run it. And this is all in code blocks, by the way, which is this little square looking thing down here. But it also runs in Visual C++ if you have that. And here it is in Visual C++. Now going back here, just let it load up. Take forever, there we go. So anyway, we have a welcome screen that says welcome and then starting menu and it asks you if you would like to create a new person or choose an existing player and you can type in one or two so I'm gonna go with a new person hit one and then enter and we have the create a new person screen now what we have here is we have the player's name it says what is your player's name and you type in player name and what's interesting about this is if you type in random characters like this, A and T capital H O N Y, then hit enter. It changes everything to what it should be with a capital A and only lowercase everything else. I'll explain that here in a minute after I finish reading this. How much strength does Anthony have? And since you are new you can't have more than one hundred. And it asks you how much strength he has. Now what just happened is we go in here and we find it first starts up, it goes to the startup menu right here. And we scroll down, and here's the startup menu, and here's where everything just happened. And if chosen player is equal to one, which we typed in one, it goes to the function that we called create person. So we go down here to create person, it does some new lines, and then here's your initial initialization, if that's a word, of all the variables we're going to use in here. And it asks you what your player's name is, and you type in player name, and it takes in the name, and then it sends it to this thing, this function called change case, which I created. That's at the very bottom of the program. So we go down here, and here it is. And it changes every letter, starting with the very beginning, and changes it all to lowercase. And then right at the end, it changes the first letter to uppercase and that's how that works and now we have our strength and since it can't be more than 100 let's see if we type in 101 it won't do it so it'll have to make us type in it again same goes with negatives like if we type in negative 1 it won't work so we have to type in a number between 1 and 100 and here I'm going to type in 100 same here now we need to know Anthony's speed again the speed cannot be more than 100 so again, if we type in 101, it won't work. Negative 1 won't work, so I'm just going to type in 100. And in time, Anthony will gain more health with experience. Currently, though, Anthony's health is 100. And then press any key to continue. Now, here we choose our second fighter. And this is the person that we're going to want to fight in the game. Well, now we have a first character named Hunter. His health is 100, his strength is 150, and his speed is 150. And then we have Yukon, Dr. Culver, and Falcian, and they're all their health and everything is all different for every person. So I put a beginning character on here that I called Falcian, and we're going to pick him. And what's also interesting here is you can either type in the number 4, see, the 1, 2, 3, or 4, or you can type in their name, and that works as well. And then it says, Anthony, choose an attack. Now we can punch him, kick him, slam him, or drop kick him. And I'm going to drop kick him to start out with. So I'm going to hit 4 and hit enter. Damage inflicted 13, and then you drop kicked Falcian. His health is now 87. And Fal the 
character you fight has a chance of missing, and as you see here, he missed. And it says, Fassian missed you, your health is still 100. As press any key to continue. Let's punch him this time. We're going to hit one hit punch. And then you punched Falcian. His health is now 67. And then Faust, uh he missed me again, but he'll probably hit me the next time. Another interesting uh, point to point out here is right here it says another. Well, if we scroll back up, the original text said Anthony choose an attack. Well, this was the very first attack that we did. But now that we're doing another attack, it says choose another attack. So that's just an interesting point to point out. We hit enter, and again it says choose another attack. So let's kick him this time. So damage inflicted was 11, and then you kicked Faustian. His health is now 56. And then it's Faustian's turn. Damage inflicted 27. Faustian slammed you on the ground. His health is your health is now 73. And this continues until one of us loses. So we're going to keep playing. I'm going to slam him this time. And he knocked out 36. My health is 37. So he's actually beating me now. Let's drop kick him. And 10 and 11. Slam him on the ground. Ooh, I knocked out 40. Okay. So I, it says I've won. It declares that I've won. And then you have been rewarded a medium protein bar plus 30 health. Now there's a small protein bar that does plus 20 health, a medium protein bar that does plus 30 health, and a large protein bar that does plus 40 health. And all these items can be used in game at the cost of a turn. Now, what's interesting about here is like, how are we going to use this? You know, there's no input. Nothing works. So right here we only have four options. So we're going to hit enter to continue. And then it changes our health, our strength, and our speed. It adds numbers to our already already existing uh, health and everything that we had. So your health is now 104, strength is now 102, and speed is now 104. And it asks us if we like to fight another person. If we type yes for Y for yes and hit enter, we'll be taken back to the screen for the second fighter. Now we're going to choose. Dr. Culver this time. Somebody is the hardest character on the game. Now we're going to choose him and fight him. And now we have this thing called items. Now if we push 5, it'll ask which bar would you like to use? A small bar, medium bar, or large bar? The medium bar, we have 1. So we're going to choose, well, I'm going to show you this. If we type in 1, for small bar, <coughs> it says not enough bars. Would you like to use another bar? So we type yes, and then we type two for a medium bar. It says your health is now 134. It added 30 health to my original health, which was 104. And we don't have any more bars, so we're going to type no. And then Dr. Culver's turn, damage inflicted was 16. He slammed me on the ground, my health is now 118. Now I'm going to close this and show you what originally it would have done if we had typed in five. Just to make this fast, I'm going to run through an existing player that's already created. We type 2. And we're going to choose Dr. Culver. And we can type in the name here just like we had done before. C U L D E R. And then the second fighter we want to fight, Falcion. And if we type in 5 here, when which was the original screen before we beat anybody, you can see that it doesn't work. So that's just a little interesting thing right there that uh, makes the game switched up some. So we're going to close that. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, comment. If you want to see anything else put into the game, we can do that. I mean, it's not that hard. And uh, hit like if you like it. Thanks.